Omega Supreme is the ultimate weapon, a colossal robot of incredible power who serves as the Autobot's last line of defense. But Omega isn't the only one of his kind. He's a member of a group of titanic robots who have defended Cybertron and its people since the planet's distant past. These are the basics on the Guardian Robots, also known as the Omega Sentinels. The Guardian Robots were original characters created for the Transformers animated series in 1985, as part of the show's backstory for Omega Supreme. Originally known as the Dark Guardians, they were built by the Transformers alien creators, the Quintessons, to serve as their enforcers during their occupation of Cybertron 11 million years ago. When the Transformers rose up against the Quintessons, Rebel leader Alpha Trion was able to deactivate the Guardians using a device known as the Coder Remote, allowing the Transformers to defeat their alien oppressors and force them off the planet. Cybertron then enjoyed a golden age of peace and prosperity, during which time the Guardian robots, Omega Supreme among them, served the Autobots as protectors and peacekeepers. They were a key Autobot weapon in the early stages of the war against the Decepticons nine million years ago, but by the present day they had all died out, save for Omega Supreme himself. The remains of one Guardian were found and reactivated by the Decepticons and used against the Autobots, but the headless robot was soon defeated by the Aerialbots. The design of the Guardian robots was based upon that of Omega Supreme, albeit a little dumpier than he was. Omega was the only Guardian to speak or exhibit a personality, and he was the only one to have his own unique name and colour scheme. As the Dark Guardians, the other robots were all dark blue and grey with red accents, while during the Golden Age they were bright blue and white. As original characters exclusive to the cartoon, no toys of the Guardians were released in the original Transformers toy line. But over 20 years later, in 2008, one was finally made available exclusively through Japanese retailer eHobby. Naturally a recolor of the original Omega Supreme toy, it transformed into a defense base comprising three components, a rocket, a launch gantry and a motorized tank. Following the end of the original cartoon, the Guardian robots have become a recurring element of Transformers lore. When a new incarnation of Omega Supreme appears in a new Transformer series, he's usually presented as a member of the group. And while the precise nature and origin of the Guardians has varied from story to story, they've been consistently portrayed as the incredibly powerful protectors of Cybertron from millions of years in the past. For instance, in the early 2000s, Dreamwave Productions comic books presented the Guardians as Autobot creations and explicitly stated that they were mass-produced non-living robots. Omega Supreme was different because he was the last of the line to be constructed and the only one who was granted a spark and a true living personality. Notably, Dreamwave gave the Guardians a new name, the Omega Sentinels, which has carried forward into most subsequent appearances of the group. The Dreamwave spin-off novels, Transformers Annihilation and Fusion, shown the spotlight on one particular Omega Sentinel, which had been seized and reprogrammed by the Decepticons to serve them. These books told the story of the Transformers' clash with the mysterious aliens, the Keepers, during which Megatron was able to obtain the Autobot Matrix of Leadership from Optimus Prime. Being a Decepticon, Megatron couldn't actually use the Matrix himself, so he instead bestowed it upon the Omega Sentinel, who wasn't truly a Decepticon and could therefore employ the Matrix to enhance its already tremendous power. However, the inherent goodness and purity of the Matrix wound up slowly undoing the Sentinel's Decepticon reprogramming, leading it to eventually turn against Megatron and heroically sacrifice itself to destroy the Keepers. In 2004's Transformers Energon, the group was known as the Guardians of Cybertron, 
and Omega Sentinel was the name of the individual robot who was their emotionless analytical leader. A toy of this Omega Sentinel was released in 2005. A recolor of the Energon Omega Supreme figure, he was a headmaster, a kind of transformer whose head was formed by a smaller robot, and he transformed by splitting into a train and a battleship. Reportedly, Hasbro intended for the Guardians to feature in the Energon cartoon, but in practice only Omega Supreme wound up appearing in the show. Though a few figures sharing his design could briefly be glimpsed alongside him when he was awakened from stasis to join the Autobots in their battle against Unicron. In Transformers Animated, the Omega Sentinels were simple-minded giants created by the Autobots during the later stages of the war on Cybertron to serve as weapons of mass destruction. Omega Supreme was the first of the line, and the rest were all created in his image, each one named after a different Greek letter, Alpha Supreme, Beta Supreme, Gamma Supreme, and so on, each able to transform into a spaceship, and each bonded to an Autobot who served as a mentor to guide them in battle. Most of the Sentinels were destroyed during the war, only Omega Supreme and Sigma Supreme survived, though both were badly wounded and stasis locked into spacecraft mode to save their lives. Omega became the vessel of Optimus Prime's space bridge repair crew, while Sigma became the flagship of the Cybertron Elite Guard. Other members of the group were planned to appear in a flashback to the war in the animated cartoon's third season premiere in 2009, but the scene was cut from the episode. In the world of IDW Publishing's comic books, the Omega Sentinels were servants of the original 13 Primes in Cybertron's prehistoric past. With Omega Supreme as their leader, they participated in a disastrous attempt to colonize the planet Antilla, which resulted in a war with the native populace. Omega was the only sentinel to survive to the present day, but the group's legacy lived on. The militant Autobot leader Zeta Prime employed robots cast in the sentinel's image known as Omega Destructors to suppress terrorist uprisings against his corrupt rule. Most recently, the Omega Sentinels have appeared in Netflix's War for Cybertron animated series. Here referred to only as the Guardians, they appeared as shadowy, neutral figures who refused to get involved in the Autobot Decepticon War, despite Optimus Prime's pleas for their help. However, Prime's words convinced one of their number, Omega Supreme, who else, to defy his brothers and come to the Autobots' aid during the battle over the Allspark. Depending on the story, Omega Supreme has been the first of the Omega Sentinels, the last, their leader, or just one of the group's members. But whatever his place in their ancient and powerful ranks, he stands apart as the greatest guardian of them all. And those are the basics on the Omega Sentinels. Would you like to see these big guys get more time in the spotlight? Make your voice heard in the comments. If you've enjoyed this look at Transformers history, make sure and subscribe for more Cybertronian lore, ring the bell to get notifications for new episodes, or get early access by supporting the series on Patreon.